about uh, doing a little bit extra to get great results. So two and a half years ago, on November 9th, uh, 2010, we announced New Haven Promise. And that was a big part of New Haven school reform, right? Eliminating the achievement gap to the state average, cutting the dropout rate in half, and seeing that all our kids are prepared for and have the resources to go to college. Promise was about developing aspiration of college going and our young people and their families, building parental and community support, and ultimately about making sure you all get jobs so you can pay me taxes. <laughs> um, Promise is launched, it has done great things, but we've learned some things as well. Is that some of our students in their freshman and sophomore years are not focused on the big college goal and make some choices that don't get them at the end of senior year to a 3.0. And as the Promise Board has thought about that, what we're excited to announce uh, is reaching out to these, uh, to these younger people who didn't get to that threshold of 3.0. Before I turn it over to Pat Mel, I want to say this happens because our community cares about its young people. And to Yale University and to the Community Foundation of Greater New Haven that fund New Haven Promise, great job. And to the uh, Yale New Haven Hospital and to Wells Fargo Bank that pro uh, funds New Haven Promise Partnership. We couldn't do it without you. So now I'll give you the awesome executive director of New Haven Promise who came